Grand rising wonderful souls and welcome to Brahmin's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. If you're an old one, welcome back my lovelies. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, soul family. Now, before we get started, I'm going to be ringing my bell. I've got incense going. I want a double incense though. Um, if you have sound sensitivity or you do not like the sound of bells, please turn down your volume now. Now, the messages that came through for this reading, San Francisco is important for some reason. And I've had, like, the dream download that I had from last night, I kind of touched on it. Well, no, I, I done a whole reading on it. <laughs> Actually, it's the last one that's just come out today. And today is the, is it the 16th of November today? Not maybe the 16th of November 2023. This is a timeless collective reading. So if you watch this past this date and it still resonates, then it's for you. That's absolutely fine. I'm gonna put you lovely little thing right in there. Oop. Now there was um the message that came through was jumping from one timeline to another or one dimension to another, and it's to do the Mandela effect. Waking up and recording dreams, a therapist or a fake therapist. Uh, waking up the twin to who they are, the silent witness. And um, also what came out was overstepping a boundary. Someone's overstepping a boundary um, and it's or attempts to, and it's in either a familiar or a familial setting. So for example, if you state that you don't drink and um, a glass of wine or brandy is poured for you, and they know what they're doing, but they're doing it anyway. And the advice here is to keep reinforcing re reinforcing this boundary without aggression. Another message that came through was your social battery, leaving social situations at 50%, putting yourself first is an act of love and self-love, um, rather than waiting until your battery is near depleted before leaving. Um, and also what came through was Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, the film. I love that film. I haven't seen that in ages. So let's crack on. Let's see what wants to come out. This one. Okay, I've been told to take this deck out. I haven't used this one yet. But that, the Mandela effect, for those of you who are like interested, my understanding, it doesn't mean that it, th this is fact, but my understanding of the Mandela effect is, you know, when like someone tells you they have a memory of a show and you know that show, but the way that they describe it, they may describe certain characters and, and you're like, that character wasn't in that, what are you talking about? But they remember the same show with that character in it. Or it could be a certain TV. I don't know when I'm getting TV and books and things like that. My, I remember watching, um, there's this girl on um, Facebook. And she sometimes does videos, she does scary videos, like paranormal. And she was talking about the Mandela, the Mandela effect. And one of the stories that fit it really well was um, she, she got a letter from um, a couple. And the girl was saying that we've been together, let's say Brian and Sally. Sally and Brian have been together for like seven years and they've lived in the same apartment. And um, Sally is in, um, she's in an accident, a near death experience. And when she comes back, she's kind of like, where's the fire extinguisher gone? That's always in the cupboard where we put our shoes. And Brian's like, we've never had one there. What are you talking about? And she has a vivid memory of it always being there, always being there. And they end up having a bit of an argument about it. And um, she thinks nothing of it. She's just like, look, I don't know why he's playing games. I know we've always had it there. We've always had it there. And something happens to Brian years later that he's rushed to hospital. And um, when he comes back out of hospital, he is really surprised by the um, TV. The TV that's in the living room. And I can't remember it's it's because it's a flat screen when they always had one of those big box ones or the other way around and they end up having a massive argument because he thinks that she sold the tv or something like that and swapped it and the mandela effect is where um my understanding is all of the different dimensions that we have are layered okay they're all smushed together now the ones that are closest to us are going to have alternate versions of us that are the, sim that the most similar to us because they're so close to us. When somebody actually passes away, that's just their vessel because energy cannot be destroyed, can it? 
So it moves to the closest proximity to the next vessel that has the closest memories, the closest life, the closest job, the closest everything. And there may be certain nuances that are different. So in this dimension, Brian and Sally never had a fire extinguisher, but they had a box TV. In the dimension right next to it, Brian and Sally, they had a fire, they never they had the fire extinguisher, but they had a flat screen TV. And the one next to it, they had both. Okay. When one of them, that near-death experience actually happened. Because in the other one, there's something here about rather than it being a near-death experience, in the other one, actually, that person died. And their energy transforms over. I don't know if I'm exp explaining it properly, but there's something here with that being really important. The Mandela effect being really important. And for some reason, Spirit is saying, um, think back yourself. Have you ever had like a conversation with someone where you, um, you were so sure of something in your past? And it's not just you, though. There's a group of... Of whoever for example the reason it's called the mandela effect is because um it started it was coined with nelson mandela i was under the impression as a kid that nelson mandela passed away in prison in the 80s because i vividly remember my dad talking about it i was born in the early 80s i remember growing up with my dad going isn't it a shame this man you know passing away nelson mandela passed away outside of prison decades what a decade later so how is it there are so many people, so many people that remember him passing away in prison? It's because there were a certain amount of people in this other dimension where Nelson Mandela did pass away. And something happened and all of their consciousnesses went to the next, which was us. Now, I don't know why this is so important. Waking up and recording your dreams. I feel like there's key information that's coming. And if you look at my last reading, it was talking about dimensions, fragmentation, something being passed through the ethers. And you've got here, tuning into my inner calm and power is achieving is achieved by inhaling for five, holding for five, exhaling slowly for five, and repeating five times. Trusting my intuition comes easily to me and fills me with self-confidence that I need to be a spiritual master. Someone here, there's mindful techniques that need to be used to help them with accessing either previous lives or it's something to do with like the multiverse lives. Using dried herbs and spices in my kitchen, I formulate spell jars with purpose of serving the highest good of all. All the magic I've ever needed to succeed and be happy lies within me. The power is in my hands. It lies within you because there are multi, there's multi-dimensional aspects. There's multiple, multiple alternates of you all at the same time. And they all have certain skill sets. And I feel like this is something that is, I heard it's bleeding through or it's, it's, it's about, you're about to be gifted something. Um, interesting 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 anything else that wants to come out on this anything else i feel like this has got something to do with somebody's twin flame or someone's like divine counterpart i practice meditation daily and imagine a soft white light forming around me and my precious body someone's really being called to meditate really being called to meditate I don't know if you're getting messages like this quite a lot about stilling your mind. As the sun rises, I clothe myself in garments that lift and inspire me to love myself and others throughout the day. This is all to do with your heart space. This is calling in love, but I feel like it's something higher. When I look to the night sky, I am reminded of the cosmic love of the universe guiding guiding my thoughts and actions i am full of magic when i look into the mirror with love and speak my daily affirmations something is i feel like something is about to shift or change and there's a need to um there's a need to it's not change routine but it's add to the routine and do it more than usual and i want to know why 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 should i get out the tea leaves no which ones these ones Sorry. Let's see 
see what is going on breaking dawn guidance but where will it lead you someone's going through a massive transformation a massive transformation and this is almost like um a follow-on from the last reading that i did a puzzle piece is about to be fit back in for someone but you have to take action there's something about taking action now and it's to do with going inwards rather than outwards and i've just realized as well i'm looking at this card here it's got the big key on it the last reading was talking about key codes and the hand there that can see the key listen you guys we're about to access some sort of information and it's not just past lives it's alternate versions of yourself and i know some people are kind of like the multiverse the multiverse something to do with the multiverse but it's to do with like i feel like it's the um the closest ones to us are the most relevant right now and you look at this she has the absolute solar system in her hair, in her mind. This is all about accessing higher forms of um, dimensions. Violet angel. Working with the ultraviolet flame may be really, really, um, I was going to say interesting. But it may help someone here to make a change. Yeah, because you've got number here condensing down to five. Okay, that's all about change. You also have guidance but where will it lead you and it's upside down i feel like someone here um it's almost like being lost in the dark you know when you have like a memory or when you think back to like the earliest memory you have you know that every time that you access that memory you're not actually accessing the first memory you ever had you are accessing the last time that you thought about it because it, it changes slightly each time that you you think about it but it's that energy of like it being hazy and kind of remembering pieces of it, almost like looking at a, um, a slideshow or like um, a, cam a camcorder recording from the 70s when it's all grainy and like, you know, um, it's been worn down a couple of times. But you've got transitions to the spirit realm. Magical space clearing time is upside down this came out before in the last reading there's an ancestor there's someone coming through with information for you but it's foggy it's almost like you're being asked to um be the um be the lighthouse in the darkness for this spirit that's coming through that wants to tell you something because they're not coming just from the other side they're coming from i feel like they're coming from really far away like there's many dimensions that they've got to travel through and you need to be the beacon for them so meditation, breath work, tuning into yourself is really important right now. Because there is definitely energies that are trying to block this. They're be it's being cleansed away. You've got magical space clearing time. That makes sense why I wanted to put more than one incense out. I was like, do you know what? For some reason, I felt like I needed to cleanse the space a little bit more. Magical space clearing time is in reverse. Okay, and you've got powerful personal growth. Aloha healing. Someone's already doing this. Somebody is already um, cleansing their space because there is definitely someone trying to place a block and I'm getting it again. It's almost like when you're in the shower and the water's really hot and it creates steam and you're trying to look through the wind, like if you've got like glass and even if you wipe it, it's still a little bit um, out of focus. This is going to give you information on who it was who blocked you like this definitely is um almost like a, a follow-on from the last reading that i did this isn't even just remembering what happened in like a hidden memory this is also accessing gifts but knowing exactly who did this who was it who blocked you it's going to bring in deep healing and they're blocking they're trying to block some sort of guide or being from coming in to give you information. Shut the front door. You see clearly clairvoyance, but it's come. This person's going to come through anyway. Someone here needs to train their third eye or sharpen their third eye. You are the wing seer. You see clearly anyway, but you're being told to cleanse something or to continue cleansing something. Love is strange. Clear solution. Natural world needs you. Someone needs to ground. 
someone needs to ground or they need to um cleanse the the ground they walk on so that could be your home it could be the energy that you have around your home especially if you've got green space around you for for someone will get a lot of stability from being out in nature or having plants around them or tending to plants and nature ghost people I feel like this, yeah, because you've got here Faceless Ghost and the Haunted Girl. There was some sort of mistruth they were trying to send. I don't know if this is a monitor spirit, if this is more like um, trying to get the spirit that wants to come through lost in the fog of others. Because it's giving me that kind of energy of, um, you know when you watch any type of movie where there's like a massive chase and they end up going down like a really crowded street and um, at first whoever it is who's the... Um, whoever the perpetrator is they they end up putting like a cap on and then getting into the crowd and people can they can still be seen and then they just disappear that's the energy that i'm getting that someone here is trying to fog if they can't fog your third eye they, they want to bring in so many energies that you can't tell which one is the the angel you know An angel de los what can i speak angel de los muertos who it is that's coming in to share this information with you from the other side, because I know that means angel of death, um, transitions to the spirit realm. The underworld is with you, the underworld energies around you, not in a bad way. I feel like there's going to be revelations. It's almost like you're being asked to sharpen your third eye because someone here is purposely trying to do smoke and mirrors so that you can't speak to this ancestor because this ancestor is going to give you a key or give you key information or point you in the direction of how you access certain things to do with memory. They, they're going to teach you also how to remove energies, energies that are around you. Because this love is strange, upside down. Somebody has been trying to um, attach something to your heart space. And I'm hearing that song. Um, She's as cold as ice, willing to sacrifice. Mm, it's time to be brave. This is trying to bind something to your heart space or make you fearful to love or fearful to just leap. I don't know what for. But just to leap, you miss someone. This is somebody who feels rejected or they want you to reject someone. They don't want you to take your own guidance or to trust your own intuition. Who is them? Who is this? We're here. They don't want you seeing who they are. This is something that was done around Halloween. Interessant. Lady Goddess, it's to do with your divine feminine, it's to do with your intuition, it's your creative flow, because you're getting more powerful, and that is irrespective of gender, because we hold both masculine and feminine energies, if I do say he, she, masculine or feminine, I'm talking about energies, it's up to you whether you assign a gender role or not, um, and please don't make the story fit if it doesn't, okay, I've got many other readings if this one doesn't resonate with you, but, um, and, and my, you've got to remember my readings are for entertain, uh, entertainment purposes only, someone's tongue-tied, Someone may be concerned that you're getting very close to figuring something out personally, like internally. Witch's hat and lady goddess. Not only that, you clearing ish out, sweeping it out the door. Broomstick and clearance. When it's this way, it usually means you have to clear something out. Something has been cleared out. Somebody here has cleared out some sort of shame or regret, or sadness, or something that was linked to trauma. And I'm doing this because it's almost like it's it wasn't your trauma to start off with. It's like a web, I heard a web of lies. They've encased something, and this trauma, you found a way to cleanse it, or to heal it, or to transmute it, or you are learning this, and someone doesn't like you doing this. awakening someone's definitely going through a spiritual awakening someone's definitely going through it this is going to bring in key information this ancestor is it's like they're trying to push through the crowds 
it's like I've got an important I've got an important message I've got an important message and there's loads of people trying to pull them back energetically and they're like no 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 I've got this message for you but you cleared something you've moved something from your sacral chakra stop and the lady goddess as well divine feminine energy that flows down this way it's your sacral chakra up to your intuition your third eye it's getting more powerful trust yourself you guys because you also got here fertility balance underneath they tried sending something to someone's home they may have wanted to make you homeless this may be about a home and you've got over here, I keep seeing crows, but I keep seeing crows on the dark side. And I love crows. I absolutely love anything in the Corvid family. I find them beautiful, mysterious. They remind me of that eighth house. You have someone here who has a familiar that is a crow, a raven, a magpie, something in the Corvid family that keeps checking up on you or the person you're thinking of. They want to see how far into your unconscious, not your subconscious, your unconscious, you have been able to go. Please have a look at the other reading that I did because it does talk about like these orbs in the middle of the darkness and they were this bright in the darkness. There's a raven, there's, there's something watching to see your progress and then reporting back. That's why they keep trying and they keep trying and keep trying and keep trying. Stability, get their vex. Their vex, whoever it is, it's brought in major instability major instability that they're trying to keep hidden they're trying to keep hidden and look you've got remembrance with ancestors upside down they have been they've been cloaking someone so they don't remember who they are this is not just about what happened when you may have been a child or what was stolen this is who you are at the core of you where you come from and i'm not talking about what country you come from i'm talking about for some what planet you come from or what time you come from because some people here were created at the beginning of time and i know that our souls some people have very very new souls and some people have very old souls and people say that oh that, that person's an old soul someone here is like the original soul or the original twin flame or the original the original something and you've got here ancestors remembrance homeland where you come from come on hearth underneath homecoming you're coming home there is an ancestor here is desperately trying to get through and trying to get through i want to know who it is that's sending this though who is sending all of this jazz my kitty aunt who is sending all of this right, let's get to it let's find out who doesn't want you knowing this is continued effort this is something they've been working on for a long time to suppress do you know what whoever these people are they have been what they thought they were doing was dodging karma they thought that they could do this and that they weren't being watched everyone has an akashic record everyone of everything that has ever happened within our lifetime every thought we've had every action we've had every action we've taken every choice we've made and it's all noted down in this lifetime and every lifetime we've had before so why did they think that they wouldn't have their own why did they think that there wouldn't be a being there inscribing all of the you know nefarious ish that they were doing yeah to put in blockages for you because I, I have the feeling to say the chosen one a chosen one here they didn't think at some point the scales weren't going to tip back how they, they were supposed to because they're trying their hardest to block this and they've been doing it for a long time but they've just been accumulating more and more negative karma and i heard for lifetimes for lifetimes this isn't the first time that they've done this this is why you're being told to meditate now or to connect with yourself in a way that is internal because i kept hearing messages from other tarot readers going you know the message coming through is got to act now you've got and i'm like act on effing what act on what now i'm realizing is act on going within not just listening to a guided meditation and going mm, i feel really chill after that it's sitting down with intention of going oh, this is what i'd like to access and practice practice and practicing and 
start with a guided meditation if you need to, if you've never meditated before. But the, the, the end result is to get to a point where you don't need that, where you can sit in silence and then let whatever messages need to come to you, come to you, okay? Whatever messages need to come to you, come to you. Because that, that cup, that's almost like the hand in my dream download from last night of reaching out for that orb. And as I grabbed the orb waking up and it's actually was one of my physical um, amethyst spheres in my hand. Look at that. Actionably. Because you've got here the king of wands to the ace of cups. Someone was doing this. Where is it? That's, I didn't read it all because you know what? I don't know where the other piece of paper is. Someone has been collecting dreams. Someone's been collecting dreams. And I don't know if there's someone here that has been, and I don't feel like it's one person, it's like an organisation has been collecting dreams, mind mapping, or creating a map. I want to get out the other one. Sorry, this is, it just came to me. I feel like also when it comes to like this overstepping a boundary, there's someone around you who is ambivalent towards you. I heard they know something or they know some some sort of your business and how do they know that unless you've shared it with them and I don't feel like you have this person who little things like you could be like I'm I'm lactose intolerant so they give you a coffee with milk in it like, what are you doing it's that kind of energy and I think this is why you're being asked to sharpen your your third eye your intuition because this is about this is definitely about connecting and finding out who you were, your memory, what happened. But it's also being hyper vigilant without being paranoid about the energies around you. I don't want anyone taking this as a fear based kind of message because it's not OK. And if it's instilling fear, then this message is not for you because my readings are supposed to be confirmation of what you already intuitively know if this is all brand new and you're just like what the heck's going on this reading isn't yours and that's fine but this is about hype this is about um being able to read other people in a way that you can tell who it is who's purposely overstepping your boundaries and trying to drain your energy because they're part of this they're monitoring you like that crow now, where is that message? Where did it go? Here we go. Collecting of dreams or collecting of data. They're looking for a pattern. They're looking for like a specific set of images. And I know that one of the images is a curved staircase because I've seen it. I've seen it in um, quite a few of my dream downloads that have been personal just for me. But my guides have obviously said that I could talk about this because you guys need to know. And there's a stressed out teacher, somebody who's trying to teach this to someone else. And this is definitely about kind of like um, multidimensional travel, like traveling. And when we astral, like when you, if you go on like TikTok and you put in things like shift talk, people talk about like, you know, um, going into like the multiverse or lucid dreaming and them saying, you know, um, you should never ask what time it is or what data it is when you lucid dream and you know people explaining what happens when they do and them going the amount of times that I've had this conversation and I know that I'm in a dream and I'm like oh what time is it you know what date is it and everything changes it goes from everyone smiling happy and everyone's just like staring at them and they're like get out and then feeling really in danger I feel like there is there's something going on with collecting information through astral projection of what we see as just dreams there's something going on here. And I know I keep saying that. It's because I don't know what's going on here. Oh my gosh. It's giving me the energy of like, um, there's going to be specific people who have key codes to, to astral project or to move between worlds or to move between dimensions. And I heard it's important that you don't get it first. So whoever this is, whoever this corporation or organization or whatever it is, they don't want you having it first. I feel like someone effed up as well, and that came out in my last reading. When they were energy harvesting, because someone, there's, I feel like this isn't just one person in the collective. I feel like many people as children have messages, have they have messages or memories missing purposely. 
And it wasn't until later that whoever it is that's been doing this and this harvesting realized that actually there's other there's other parts of information that help them bridge a map a bridge from one dimension to another and it comes from the source code and the source code is within those memories that they've blocked how do they open them up again knight of swords here to the ace of cups yeah they want it they literally want it they want it before you do that you've healed something you've made it a lot harder you keep clearing something out or you've had there's an upgrade coming in with somebody's ancestors this is why you've got this this spirit coming through and it may be a spirit or it may be somebody from another dimension. I'm getting ahead of myself. This is so exciting. My gosh. King of Swords in reverse to the Knight of Swords. This is underhanded stuff. This is kind of like hush, hush. Keep it quiet. Because you've got the King of Swords in reverse to the Knight of Swords. This is some illegal-ish going on. But I feel like this is illegal-ish in the ethers too. They, there's people here who I heard are assigned to stop you having an awakening, but the awakening's already started. It's already happening. And everything that they sent keeps getting cleansed and moved out of the way. So this, this spirit, this ancestor, this whoever it is from another dimension, I don't know, an echo, can come through and give you a key piece of information. I'm seeing someone passing you a baton so that you have this. And they're trying. They are trying to stop you from getting this. Five of Swords to the Five of Pentacles. Someone is stressed out here. A lot of people are stressed out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's quite a look. And this doesn't even want to go together now. Blockages. Who's got the blockage? Tell me about Witch's Hat, please. Tell me about Witch's Hat. Hi, Priestess. King of Pentacles. Some have been working hard. Somebody's been working hard. They were trying to take some sort of power from you. But I had small players. You've got small players in here. They don't, they're not seeing the whole thing. This may link into some of the other readings that I did about someone trying to get initiated into some sort of group or circle. And they were like, no, I can do this. I can take that person down. But they're not going to be told everything, are they? They're, they're more or less like a foot soldier or a pawn in whatever this larger grander game is to whoever these big wig people are whoever whatever this 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 is because you've got the king of pentacles here in reverse to the the high priestess there was something about draining your energy or someone here was like patting themselves on the back that they were able to put blockages in so that you wouldn't have this powerful personal growth or that you wouldn't know um how to seek it out Especially with guidance, but where will it, it lead you? Because you were by yourself. There, there's something here about being alone or isolating you and not actually realising that doing so has heightened someone's gift or resolve to heal themselves. Because the intuition one's at the top here. Trusting my intuition comes easily to me and fills me with self-confidence. I need the, the, the self-confidence I need to be a spiritual master. And then that one underneath that, as the sun rises, I clothe myself in garments that lift and inspire me to love myself and others more throughout the day. So whatever they've been sending towards you has literally given you more power. They were hoping that it would isolate you. It would block you off. It would block off your, your second sight or your first sight. I don't know if someone comes from a family of seers. I don't know if this whoever this spirit is transition to the spirit realm whoever this is that's coming through whatever this button is is actually a gift they may be passing you a gift that they had when they were alive i don't know how that works if it has to be you know somebody from your the line of your blood or it has to be you know someone from your family or it's literally just a spirit saying do you know what you need this Boom, take it. It's giving me like, a, you know the film, um, the program Angel with David um, Barimiaz, I can never say his name properly, when his mate has some sort of power and it's passed over to someone else when he, when he passes away. I don't know if they want to pass you something over. They've been trying to block this. They don't want you seeing. 
They don't want you seeing clearly, like properly clearly. You know, like sometimes you see in movies and they're like, yes, my friend's a psychic and the person walks in and it's like they're talking to a ghost and the person's sitting there having a cup of tea. It's that kind of upgrade. It's that type of upgrade. And you have a high priestess in reverse here who was kind of patting themselves on the back that they were blocking either your abundance or they were blocking, it's either you or they were blocking your twin or your divine counterpart from knowing who they are. That's why it keeps coming up in a lot of readings that you or the person you're thinking of and their divine counterpart make a power couple. It's not just about power as in 3D, three-dimensional kind of power. It's etheric power. Because when I take out my tea leaf cards, I keep getting the, um, the card of authority and it's like a royal chair this is like king and queen energy it's it's bigger and it's grander than that but it's the only way that i can explain it someone said with my tiny human mind exactly it's so much bigger than that that we can't comprehend it's reminding me of um i can't remember who it was who said it I can't remember which tarot reader said it and it hit such a chord because I was like, that's right. She said that um, when the, the names that we give to deities or the names that we give to gods, for example, in, um, in ancient Egypt, Hathor is not her name. That is what we can decipher with our small little mouths and our tiny little brains. Her, her name is, a, it sounds like a breath but we can't speak it because we aren't gods we aren't those deities those entities we're in these teeny tiny little vessels this is bigger and grander than we can fathom but there is a messenger there is a spirit guide or a spirit or the echo or or the energy from another dimension that is reaching out and i just had a beat from a car that wishes to give someone here a magnified view of their third eye or a ma some sort of upgrade so that they have a better understanding of what's going on here and a better understanding of how to bridge the gap so that they can access something beautiful for you, for you and how you can then help to affect the entire collective consciousness and get there before whatever this organization is because i don't know what they're doing but it's not going to be something nice is it they're going to be blocking your memories and they're working with dark high priestesses take away your money doing this while you're sleeping there is definitely something about dream downloads that are very important right now and blocking your awareness of the dream realm how to um, navigate the dream realm, I'm hearing as well, because the dream realm actually means going to different dimensions. There isn't one realm where you dream. There are many different dimensions where you travel while your body is sleeping, because it's not your entire soul that goes into the astral realm. It's your emotional body. Your emotional body is your astral body. That is what travels. That is why there's been so much emotional... Um, mind effery going on that is why that is why whoever it is in this realm has been sending things to f with your money or f put in these delays it's stress 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 because it's all to do with your emotions to do with your nervous system because if your nervous system or your emotions are out of whack how are you going to be able to control where you go when you are astrally projecting how are you going to ensure that you are protected that you're strong that you know that's why all of this meditation, this mindfulness, this, you know, aligning your third eye is so important. It's so important because you're already the wing seer. You already see clearly clairvoyance. And if you are, if you're in doubt of that, this is what's about to ramp up for you with this, you know, transitions to the spirit realm. And we're here. This is coming in for you. Keep cleansing your space. Keep doing what you're doing because it's removing the wheat from the chaff. When it comes to connections or downloads coming in from your dream state, signs and synchronicities that you trust, your third eye growing, and whoever it is that's trying to mess, give you this message. Because you've got six of cups here to the four of swords. There's This is memories. Memories coming through in dream state as well. 
pay attention, pay close attention to your dreams at the moment. And it doesn't matter if you do not remember a thing, but you have a feeling and you wake up and you're like, I know that feeling, note it down. It doesn't matter if you, all you remember is a color or a word, note it down because all of it is a message, all of it. Anything else that needs to come out on this? What do we need to know? What are they collecting? Devil and the star, ten of swords, nine of cups. There's something that they're trying to, they're trying to bridge a, a gap quietly. I heard the lower realms with the higher realms, but it's more than that. I just want to see my messages again, overstepping a boundary. I feel like whoever this, there's someone around either you or the person you're thinking of that is being, and I know I've said that, but they're being really slight in the way that they overstep that boundary. And I'm getting somebody, there's like an age difference or there's a cultural difference or there's a language, not a language barrier, but like maybe one person speaks English, another person speaks English and German or, or something along those lines. There is a, there's a, there's a difference between the two and that the person who is, um, overstepping the boundary is going to use whatever that difference is to say well I didn't know you know but they're going to continuously do that and I want to know why because you've got here the devil the star and the ten of swords they're trying to set you up for something they're trying to set you, set you up to take you down they want to do it quietly quietly but this is low vibrational energy I heard that they liked it when you were meek. What San Francisco got to do with that? I've also got Orange County out here. And Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. That film, if I remember, is about going back in time, isn't it? It's talking about history. But there's also memories of when they're kids. Because I remember part of it is um, someone's... Whose grandmother is it that just wants a kiss? But she's got whiskers everywhere. And they're like, no! So there's something there going on. Oh, I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. It's like right there and I can't grab it all. Mm. What else wants to come out? Tell me about Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Well, that, that part actually in the film, Bill and Ted's excellent adventure with a grandmother, that's actually an H-E-L-L, -L, isn't it? It's not up, up above. So there's something going on here with, they're trying to mix up some sort of energy. I had discombobulate, or they're trying to attach some sort of energy so you have the wrong memory. Because you've got judgment here to the devil. They may already be getting really bad karma or something is attaching. They try to attach this through some sort of ghost monitor spirit, something they sent. Someone's getting bad karma because you cleansed away something that was sent from h-e-l-l -L. i mean that's just a word to me i mean to others it's a real place for me if there are lower dimensions and there are higher dimensions this is something from a very low dimension a very low dimension lots of chaos this is violence tell me more about this please try to send something to someone's home to take, to take them an empress, to leave them, it was supposed to leave you imbalanced in some way. But that was sent back, that was sent back. Ace of Swords, someone set a boundary from their heart space and it was sent back. Uh, people, people, places and things, people, places and things. Did someone do a return to sender? People, places and things. Or someone done like a cord removal, but didn't just do it for one specific thing. It was like people, places and things that no longer resonate with me. Send you back to the light or I return you to sender. Princess of Swords to the Princess of Wands. Someone's researching or someone's become curious in um, part of their healing journey. But I'm no, I'm hearing like there's something going on in the spirit realm. 
There's something going on in the spirit realm and people, energies are interested on both sides is what I'm getting. So there are those in the spirit realm that are part of people's like light team and guides and things like that. And then there are energies that aren't, that are either lost or a low vibrational or something going on like that. And they're intrigued in seeing how this is going to play out because I feel like this is either foretold, this, this is giving me like biblical kind of energy, but I think it goes further than that. But it's the only way I can explain it. There's something that's been foretold and people are curious. I'm getting on this one. People are curious about how this is going to play out in your life. But also like collectively. And you also have these energies in the spirit realm who are curious as well. Like how are he, she and they going to do this, this and this. And that might be where this energy of transitions to the spirit realm is coming through, where this messenger wanted to come in, be like, look, 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 I've got information for you, okay? You need to start being curious and adventurous in this area. And then you've got the groups of whatever those darker energies are, or whoever going, nope, you're not giving that information. No, 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 no. they've got to figure it out on, them, on, the, on their own. But this energy is coming through because that we're here is in reverse. That... Uh, ghost people is in reverse they tried sending something they tried blocking and that was all sent back it was all sent back wow, 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 wow. and i feel like it was done you've either got like i had a paternal grandmother there's a feminine energy in someone's team or there's a guardian in someone's team that loves you very much that queen of cups there because that guidance but where would it lead you is in reverse you might not know that this this um guardian's there but they are they help i heard they keep they keep some of the younger ones in check they keep the young ones in check they keep the young ones in check they move them away they're like off move move you need to make some space now because there's someone coming through with a message and I say the young uns, and I mean, I mean like the other spirits, the ones that are curious, the ones that are like, how did, how's this going to work out? How are they going to do this? And the ones that are more trickstery going like, well, we're going to put blocks in. And you have this energy here. It doesn't have to be a grandmother. It can literally be um, an elemental or a deity or an, an old, old energy that wants to see you go through violet flame, angel, breaking dawn. It literally could be a violet flame angel. And that's why they can keep these other energies in check. Clearing a path. Because you've got the Queen of Cups and you've got Violet Angel breaking dawn. Then you have the magical space clearing time in reverse. Ghost people in return. Whatever's being sent to kind of block you, whether it's on this realm or it's through the ethers, it's being removed by the Violet Flame. This is why at the start I got drawn to saying maybe someone needs to work with the Violet Flame. If you're not already working with it, Google, go, not Google, go on YouTube and just put in Violet Flame Meditation or look into like um, Archangel Zadkiel and Archangel Amethyst or Master Saint Germain because they all work with the Violet Flame. Quan Yin as well. Wow. -y. Look, it's making space. This is also to do with waking up your twin to who they are, if you resonate with that, or your divine counterpart. Because you've got here the six of swords to the emperor, right? Moving on to karma waters. Actionable. But then you've got the king of cups upside down. This is almost like um, this person is either there's something trapped within themselves because they're going through the same thing. And do you know what I've realised? Like, just from my experience of reading for, like, doing personal readings for other people, there seems to be a pattern of one person out of the, the group or one person out of the pair is a little bit further on, on their healing or on their ascension or on their awakening than the other and it seems to be like, you know, you grow, they grow, you grow, they grow. And at some point, they're going to have this massive Jack in the Beanstalk, um, you know, where the bean goes from being a bean to a massive thing, where this person's going to catch up. And I feel like this is part of it. That's why you have the King of Cups in reverse. And this is why they want to keep blocking it. 
but this violet flame angel or whoever it is that's stopping it, who's whoever it is that's clearing the way is energized like the emperor is like no 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 this message needs to come through so this message may not even just be for you whatever it is that's being passed the baton this energetically may be passing over to your twin as well this may be what this may be like the third eye opening for them wow so they get into action well i never tell me more about this overstepping boundaries person tell me about this attempts to do so in a familiar or familial setting the star this is somebody who's either a covert narcissist or has co covert narcissistic traits because remember i'm not a therapist i cannot diagnose anyone with any mental health anything but this i know that this has nothing to do with like narcissistic traits the fact that they're overstepping a boundary and doing it slightly this person is manipulative manipulative a knight of cups this is someone who's gonna come in and try and love bomb in some way in a sly way or in a way that gas why am i getting gaslighty way and this is to do with um bringing in doubt doubt of who you are doubt in your gifts doubt in the fact that you are a strong person doubt in that you are healing they want to put a block into this ten of cups to the nine of there's something here about trying to get you to doubt um your own intuition when it comes to reading people and didn't i say that this wasn't just about um reading yourself but it was being able to be hyper vigilant in how you read other people without paranoia they want to put a stop to this this is why there's this like urgent message coming through from the ethers here you go widen up your third eye so when this mofo comes in you can be like i can see who you are i see exactly what you're after you only want to work with me or be around me um there's there's no illusion here you only want to work with me so you can oppress me and take something take something from me you think that i don't see this they want to come in all sly well i never you guys i don't know if i should leave it here if i should continue going do you know what i'm gonna get this oh my good lord i'm gonna get this one here just kick the heat off i'm so excited this has been like the most intriguing reading i have ever done I'm going to get out this deck, and then after this, I think I should go. Eight figures or more, and bloggers in reverse. This is stopping you from getting finances. This is stopping you from getting some sort of contract as well, because this is all interlaced. It's all interlaced. You hitting, you hitting your goals and your achievements and knowing your full potential, your full purpose means you get to align and help other people align and get other people to wake up and i had the snakes in the grass will wither or they will perish so they're sending in whoever this you know um sly casanova is to place doubts because the thing is we are spiritual beautiful beings but we're in human knee sacks we have human brains and sometimes we forget that we're not our thoughts and that we're not our feelings those are temporary and we sometimes we forget that we can actually once you know that you are thinking you're observing your own thought you're already outside of that meat sack you're already re remembering and and looking at the fact that you are consciousness but we have been trained to be so stuck in the matrix that we forget this and whoever it is that they're sending in they're trying to look at where your wounds are with that devil card here they're trying to look at what they did before to keep you know to have you in your lane to have you asleep to have you you know not questioning to have you in fear-based modality of how you live that energy of you know don't fly too close to the sun because you know the waxing in your um icarus's story because that wasn't icarus's story that's part of icarus's story the rest of it was his father actually said to him do not fly too high to the sun do not fly too high to the sun for it will well it will melt the wax on your feathers and you should surely perish but do not fly too low to the water for it, the the foam will weigh down your wings and you will surely drown fly straight and steady and they don't tell you that they only tell you that of uh, that part about don't fly too high they want people not to wake up to their own divinity to their own connection 
and I heard too late. It's too late. You're already awake. Too late. But this is what they're planning. So they're going to try and bring someone in to place doubt by trying to kind of like um, appease and call to the, the meat sack part of us, if that makes sense. Tell me about this Casanova. Tell me about this Casanova, please, and thank you. Single and ready to mingle. Whoever they're bringing in is not single anyway. They've been paid to do this. And this person, um, this person has been trying to study you, but they haven't been able to figure anything out. Or they haven't been able to figure anything out other than the information they've been given from the past because you've got university in reverse and this is Aquarius in reverse. So this person could be in a, a Aquarius. Look, you've got surveillance living out of their car, driving past your home, obsession, private investigator. They've been trying to figure you out, big time. Teaching. They want to learn. They want to learn what you know. I heard they want to know how much money you've got. They want to know. And you've got here, um, cheering on the fight, bystanders egging on the drama. Blocked, trying to reach out. They want to talk to you. They're untrustworthy. Come now. Focus intention on targets. Groups chanting elemental beings, trapped, trapping elemental beings, heat, cold, and fire. I'm telling you. And then you, this keeps coming out. Blogger. I don't know if you're a blogger. I don't know if you're in the in like the public. I don't know if whoever this is that's coming towards you is. But I feel like this person is part of... It's giving me culty vibes. I don't know what this group is. It's a yuck anyway. Conflict. Full of conflict. Full of chaos. They don't understand why everything that's being sent is just being sent back. But these people are like foot soldiers to a, 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 what they see as a higher cause. Which is a lower cause. Okay, Five of wands. Two of cups. Ten of wands and five of swords. This person's obsessed with your energy, whoever this Casanova is. We touch on this quite a lot, but this reading went a lot deeper than I thought it would. Interesting, you guys. Interesting. Near miss, jumped a red light, whiplash and spun out. So they are definitely getting some sort of karma already for what they have been doing. But they, it's almost like whoever it is really wants to get into this group. Or it's, it's given me those... It's giving me the energy of like um, that program, The Vow. Or if you watch on Netflix, there's another one called Twin Escaping Twin Flames. It's that culty vibe of kind of like, I've been told I have to do this, so I have to do this. I need to be in the in crowd. I have to do as Master tells me. Lack of funds. Someone's broke as a joke. And you've got conflict coming out. Expect delays. So this person may be delayed in what they're doing. They were trying to, look, they're trying to delay your healing, but it's not happening not happening there is so much power in healing there is so much power in going within i heard it transcends what transcends space wow healing trauma safe space breaking karmic cycles transmute stagnant energy loving thyself technology so this is an aquarius without a doubt somebody who may criticize you this person may have tried to read you but they're not very good at what they do this is somebody who tries to be a tarot reader they may be a crap tarot reader i don't know vpn they may be just blatantly following you now they're not even like hiding their tracks you've got here um urus strength energy primal force passion vitality instinct instinct wildness sexuality and sexual desire raw creative power fertility the unconscious mind what we've been talking about this whole time shamanic experiences overcoming obstacles and freedom i'm telling you don't worry your ancestors are protecting you Ooh, an upsurge in product sold i'm gonna leave it there that was wild reading i hope that um Brought some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. Again, if this did not confirm anything for you and you were like, what on earth is going on? This reading wasn't for you and it's absolutely okay because it's not a personal reading. Um, but if this did resonate it speak if it did resonate for you and you are a new face and you'd like to see more, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe, and the notification bell so you can actually see when I post. Um, and if you are a returning subscriber, what's Kisses. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.